Hey everyone, Magical Lover playing a little Chios in the Legacy Two Man Qs. Ah, oh, what do we got? What do we got? Got one half of hmm. Got one half of it. Jeez, do I keep it? On hopes that I catch that. Blue source, I will be greedy. <sighs> See what we got. Ooh, little red deck wins, maybe? Rift Bolt, yes. Okay, this is good. This pretty much means I have three, maybe four turns to find something and get almost no resistance unless they drop an Eidolon. That's something I noticed with uh, Red Deck Wins, is that Eidolon is quite the bummer. Let's see what they got. Do they have it? No, that is good. So dead, somewhat, so, okay, so, that's good. I'll, I'll take this and I can actually drop a shield sphere and save a lot of goblin guide. So that's good to know. Don't want to discard it anyway. So it's going to save me about one to two turns if anybody draws, which is nice. Guy is going Gataxium Probe into Shield Sphere. What the F is my opponent playing? I get that a lot. That's okay. People not used to tier 3 decks like Cheerios. So, just looking to string any of that together. Find me a blue source, land grant. Fetch land. It's funny, the last time I played in the Legacy Qs, I played against Red Deck Wins, too. I guess it's just a popular deck in the Qs right now. Probably because Eidolon. I had to bet. So my my fear is that he draws another mountain and casts the idol on. Come on. Wait on you, Chief. There we go. Wow, video card failing hard. Another Rift Bolt, okay. Means I have to be careful on how many probes I use. Okay, I'll have a Alrighty. Did. Hmm. Did find that land. Turns on his price of progress, but I don't think we can go and just discard it. So we'll ship it back and see what he's got. I mean, the math already, we're going to go down to 12, and it'll probably activate the two bolts at me, so we're effectively at 11, Goblin Guide I can handle, 11, 9, yeah, we're doing pretty good for going up against Red Deck Wins. we 
go. Gonna get some free looks. Maybe it's that land. Kobolds. Blockers, I got. So that's what this is going to boil down to. I either find a source or die. But I got five for fuel, so pretty much the second I find it, we're good. I'm going to get pinged down to 10 end of turn. No? I think that's a mistake. Why doesn't he do that? Unless he thinks I'm playing something absolutely terrible and entered this by mistake just to give him my four tickets. Um, really? Did he accidentally F6 there or something goofy? He didn't attack. He didn't cast anything. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to dump another shield sphere out there. Now, interesting to note, if I draw my Beastmaster's Ascension, there's three. I can dump my hand. Well, I guess I can't dump my hand completely, but... <laughs> so you're just gonna not lava mancer me at the end of the turn? There we go. Price, yeah, okay. He's got three two cards in hand. Another goblin guide. Okay, find me land. Find me land, Grant. Okay, goblin guides, what do you got? Phyrexian walker? No, not... Not what I'm looking to see. So this game is pretty much down to a, uh, a pretty low variance for me. Maybe between the, the fetches, the land grants, and the lotus petals. I think I had pretty good odds of getting that blue source. Yeah, we'll spread it out. Disco. Just got one card in hand. And I still can't find... Okay. Come on. I could play the Mem Knight and ping him, but that's just not how I'm going to win this game. Price for two. Grim Lava Mancer for two, and a war. Fire Blast for a win. Is that what he's got? Perhaps. 
Yep, there we go. Okay, good game. How far down was it? Oh, Ascension, glimpse. Oh, that's great. Nice to know that the wind was that close. Wow, all the gas. Okay, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. So, for boarding, what do we need? Zantid Swarm. I mean, it's interesting to bring in Chalice against a deck like this and just go for the, you know, other side of the combo. Um... Because I think Chalice on one destroys him. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I like my deck's chances against red deck wins just out of the gate. So, I think I'll keep it. A lone scapegoat. Oh, I did screw up. Uh, I forgot to change the deck. I had accidentally saved over. I was tweaking the deck, and I, I took out the breeding pool and replaced it with a stomping ground. And so I just screwed up. I just realized that now this is supposed to be a breeding pool. Uh, so I can't even land grant for blue. How terrible. Um, hmm. Maybe I do go for it, because then I, I need a lotus petal for this. Ugh, that just sucks. Uh, boo. Well, screw it. Forgot about that before I submitted here. Okay. Um, do I want to play first? No, I want the card. Got the mana. I do not have the action, though. Mulligan. I will keep that. Okay. Give him first draw, or first blood. He's going to do exile a uh, Rift Bolt. <laughs> This is getting better. I did not go for it there because basically I only need to go off turn. The, the turn he could get an Eidolon in play. Eidolon does kill me and kill me very fast. So by him not playing a, a land that turn, I have a feeling he thought he did not realize that I chose to uh, excuse me um, draw first. So I have a feeling he F6 through his own turn. Uh, yeah, Rift Bolt. So I will be going for it next turn, because if he drops a second mountain, plays uh, Eidolon, I am in deep trouble. I learned that the hard way in another game. Hmm. No. Well, I can roll the dice. I can really roll the dice, but I got enough to cast the back and a second glimpse or a scapegoat, so I don't know. I think I just have to go for it here. Yep, we'll go for it. And I will either fizzle or win, so he can have six at this point. He doesn't know it yet. So, so far we're at parity. Still at parity. Still at parity. 
Still at parity. This is good. As long as I can keep it parity and not draw dead stuff. Oh, there's a second glimpse. Okay, so it's over now. Um, so we won this one. Be curious if he boards something different now uh, for the next game. Now that he knows the combo, maybe he already knew it. I will not be casting the next glimpse. If I only had one card left in hand, I would, but um, uh, one fuel card left, but I don't. I got a probe, I got two. If I cast this, it's possible. Uh, yep, I'll burn it. Cast for two, what's he got? Smash, mountain, bolt, bolt, spike. Okay, that is good. Just to double check, make sure I remember what's in your hand. You know what? I'm actually going to cast the third glimpse here. It's something I rarely do, but I really don't want to fizzle. And I think 37, 3, 11, yeah, I, I, won't, uh, I won't fizzle, so that's good. Now things will rapidly get out of hand. And if I mumbled over it while I was thinking, um, basically all I was saying was that I have had instances where I've uh, triple glimpsed and would have decked myself before I drew enough for a storm count. It's rare, but I feel like I, it does, it can happen. So it's just uh, something to be aware of how many cards are left and what you need for storm count. It was much more common back when I used to play the um, Sky Shroud dude who used to you know, be an alt cast for five. But now that I'm running the probes and the grants, I strip those out. It's also nice to have probes because if I get down to a situation where I have two cards left in my library and I can't cast another creature or I die, um, I can probe and just draw the one. Because I have had Grape Shot be the last card in my deck, which it's one of the last ten, so it does happen. Seven. Okay. Stop messing with me. Come on. Show me a grape shot. It's interesting to note. I could. Is it the last card? Is it really the last card? It is. So, what I was talking about just happened. The last card in my deck is the one card I need to win. So now I have to now I have to probe draw that card. That's always fun. It's 
So I did get the uh, storm count up to 32. <laughs> So really, we're both playing burn decks. Just a question of how we go about it. I prefer Grape Shot. He prefers... A slightly more conventional approach. Okay, so... I think that worked. Uh, I can't believe I failed and put Stomping Ground in there. Boo! Uh, okay, we'll go for it. And see what my opponent brings to the table. He's playing first. I get the draw. I mean, I can play Forest and then Land Grant. I've at least got three off a of Glimpse. I can't believe I can't get a Baloo for that. That's absolutely idiotic. But I'm not giving up a hand with a Forest and a Glimpse. But nice if I didn't have the Forest here. I had one more card, and then I could Land Grant for the extra for the Forest. But that's okay. A lava spike. Right out of the gate. Bang. So, I don't know. I mean, I have to imagine... I just have to count on the Eidolons coming in and being his go-to, turn-to play. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go for it. This is slightly for thinning. Yep. So I won't be drawing. Wow. That was that was quick. I mean, I had uh, a pretty high chance of fizzling there. I was about a 50-50. So I'm very surprised he conceded that. Okay. Well, picked up a little. Should we open it? Ooh yeah, let's open it. Let's open it. What do we got? Collection. Oh, my video card. Collection, other products. Sealed product. Oh, let's open a booster. What do we get? Uh, control magic! Oh, and a taiga. Oh, that's nifty. I'll take a duel. I'm going a lot of decks I play. So I like that. Anything else in there? Pillaging Horde? Oh, that's cute. Blazing Spectre. Try Mantis. I remember playing with that. Remember that? Claws of Wire. Okay. Brainstorm. Nice. What else? Oh, I keep seeing that. I think it's a Lion's Eye Diamond. Paralyzed. Putrid Imp. Haha. <laughs> strength. Nice. Okay. Well, I think that was pretty good. Foil Control Magic and a Taiga. I'll take it. Thanks for watching.